Okay, so for this one over here, if you think you are you understand what's uh, how do you do different whole square, I would like you to you know, pause the video and try out these three questions. All right, and if you're able to do it, you can just like uh, go through to the end of the video to check your answer immediately. All right, but I would like to go through these three questions. All right, for those if you are no, don't know what's going on over here, all right? That's fine because I will guide you step by step. How do I solve this question? Uh, this one are uh, basically the difference of square and they, I will say they are quite tricky and challenging to do, okay? But no worries, let's try question one over here. Now let's see over here, okay? I have this expression over here and it looks kind of messy for me, all right? I don't like to see so many things in my bracket. It looks, it looks confusing for my eyes, okay? So, I'm gonna make this much more simple for your eyes to see. So I'm gonna use this technique again, which I will call it let. All right, so I'm gonna say something like, let this guy over here in this bracket, x plus one, all right, become a. Let's say that. And then I'm gonna say, this guy, right? I'm gonna change to blue pen. I was gonna say, let, x minus 1, this guy right now, become b, all right? So I, I want to make things simplify so I can see what I'm dealing with over here. So I'm going to rewrite this expression over here. So basically, what I'm dealing with is just basically a square, all right, minus b square, okay? So if I were to rewrite this expression based on this, I should get this. Wait a minute. Do you recognize what is this? It's difference of square, right? I have two terms, minus, and both of these can be square rooted. All three checkpoints check. I know th these are difference of square. So I can do something about this, right? So let's factorize this. Let's factorize this, okay? Let's factorize this. So what do I get again? I should get two brackets. One of them is plus, one of them is minus, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to have A over here, a over here, B over here, B over here. Agree? All right. So I have factorized this. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open back all this up. I'm going to put back what's A and what's B, and then I'm going to see what's going to happen inside the bracket over there. Okay? So that's what, that's what I'm going to do. Huh? So let's see what can I do over here. So let's see. Huh? So bracket, what's my A? My A is x plus 1. That's what I'm going to write. So that's x plus 1. I have my plus over here. Don't forget this guy. What about my b? My b is going to be x minus 1. I'm done with write, rewrite this bracket. Uh, this bracket. I'm going to close this bracket now. I'm going to write my second bracket now. My a, that's going to be x plus 1 again. I have my minus here and then I have my b. Now this is the place where you have to get very careful because we are dealing with negative here. We are dealing with negative here. So when you're dealing with negative number, I will suggest you to put your brackets. So that's going to be x minus 1. Close your bracket and close the whole thing again. That is how you write it. Now some of you might be confused. Hey, teacher, how come I don't put a bracket over here? I put over here. Is there any difference? Now if I were to put a bracket over here, it's going to be the same thing, all right? I'm going to show you why, all right? So let's just say, I'm going to show you what's going to happen if you're going to put bracket or don't put a bracket over here. And for, for example, say I'm going to show you if I put a bracket here, what's going to happen. So right now, if you notice in one of the what this bracket here and this bracket here, there are some like terms that I can you know, simplify, right? So let's open up the brackets and see what's going to happen. So over here, that's going to be x plus 1, and over here, this positive has to distribute equally to both of them. You have to expand them, right? So plus plus, that will give me plus x, and this and this, that will give me minus 1. Can you see if I were to erase this bracket now, can you see it's actually the same thing, right? That's the reason why I didn't put the bracket over there, okay? But what about this guy? I have some negative over here. So if we open up this guy now, Okay, over here I should have 
x plus 1. Now, I have a bracket over here, right? Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what's going to happen. This one and this one is going to multiply. Negative and positive will give me negative x. This and this, negative and negative, right? That will give me positive 1. Now, okay, this is the thing that I believe a lot of students will fall for the mistake. Huh? Because just imagine you don't have a bracket. What will happen? Okay, can you see this and this? It's not the same thing. Okay, if you don't have a bracket here, if you simplify, x minus x, x minus x cancel. 1 minus 1 cancel. I mean, this whole thing disappear. But is that true? No, because we have known that there's a bracket over here. And we simplify this, we actually get this. Now we can simplify this further. All right. So I hope now you know you all know why do I put a bracket over here. So over here, like term, like term, I can add them together, right? So this will give me 2x. All right. This one is my another like term, like term, 1 minus 1. That's going to be 0. All right. So I'm left with 2x over here. So what about this guy? What about this guy? Like term, like term, x minus x cancel out. 1 plus 1, 2. So I'm left with 2 over here. Okay, so let's expand this guy. So what is this expression after we, you know, simplify this uh, expression over here? In the end, our final answer here, we will get 4x. Let's multiply this together. All right, I'm done with the first example over here. Now, my second example here, let's look through this question. Now, some of you might look like, oh, this question, I can actually use calculator and solve. Or if not, I can actually also take 51, multiply by 51, and then just expand. I will do the same form here, and then I subtract, okay? So doing that, there's nothing wrong, but it, you might get careless mistake along the way. So instead, why don't we utilize the knowledge of difference of square to solve this question over here? So let's see what can we do. Right? Let's see what can we do over here. Now, I'm going to use this again, all right? Okay, I'm going to ask you, like maybe I'll ask you, without an aid of a calculator, solve this, right? Solve this. So, looks weird for me. I'm going to make it something more simple because I see there are two terms, one minus and some squares over there. I think I can you do something about uh, this with difference of square. But it looks kind of messy here. So, I'm going to make things look much more simple for your eyes. So, I'm going to say, let 51 become A. And then I'm going to say, let 49 become b. So if I were to rewrite this, if I were to rewrite this, I will get a square minus b square, which is exactly the same as this. So we know that this is a difference of square, which I can factorize it, which I can factorize it, and one of the bracket is plus, one of the bracket is minus. I should have a and a over here, and I should have b and b over here, all right? So what's, what we're going to do next is we're going to put back all the a and b's inside. So let's see what are we dealing with over here. So my a's are basically 51's. And my b's are basically, oh, oh wrong color, sorry. My b's are basically 49. So they are all like terms. Can I add them up together? 51 plus 49, that will give me 100, all right? And in this bracket over here, 51 minus 49, that should give me 2. So if I were to calculate this without an aid of calculator, 100 times 2, that will give me my final answer of 200. Soft over here. See, how different is to utilize difference of square in questions such as like this. Last one, even look much more weirder, all right? But don't worry, when things look weird, I will strongly suggest you to utilize all these techniques over here. These are helpful techniques to make your equation, your expression look much more simple so you know how can you deal with this, okay? Again, there are two terms, a bunch of squares, all right? And a minus over here, so I think I can do something with difference of square over here. So let's see what can I do over here. So again, I'm going to say, let 2t plus 1 become a, and I'm going to say, let 
9, uh, no, 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 not 9, okay, because I want to use this 9, I'm going to use this bracket only. So t minus 6, alright, I'm going to use t minus 6, and I will let that to become, oh, oh, sorry, b. So how do I rewrite this now? How do I rewrite this now? I can rewrite this as, oops, sorry, I can rewrite this as a square, that's a right now, minus, that's my 9 over here, 9, b square, correct or not? Can you see this? See, I have made this expression to look so much simpler, right? So we can now identify this as difference of square, right? I can square root this, I can square root 9, I can square root b square, there are two terms and they are negative, so I know difference of square is involved over here. So what, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some brackets, so because I can do difference of square, one of them is plus, one of them is minus, over in the first bracket, that's a, that's a, and over here, that's 3b, and that's 3b over here, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up, and let's see what's going to happen, all right? So let's see what's going to happen now. So this is going to be quite a long expression, so I'm going to make my bracket a bit longer. My a is 2t plus 1 plus 3b. So I have my 3, and what's my b? Now remember to put bracket, ah. Uh. A lot of students will forget to put bracket over here. So my b is going to be t minus 6, close back your bracket, okay? And then what do I have in the second bracket? I have my a again, which is going to be 2t plus 1, and then I'm going to minus this time. What's my b over here? Oh, sorry, 3 again. And then my b is going to be t minus 6, all right? Always remember to put back your brackets over here, all right? So a lot of students might miss out this step. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to expand this. I'm going to simplify this even further. So let's open up the bracket first and see what are we dealing with over here. 2t plus 1, that's going to be 2t plus 1. Nothing's changed. Okay, so this one, don't forget, expand, right? So I should get plus 3t plus minus, so that should give me negative 18, right? Same thing over here, 2t plus 1, nothing has changed, 2t plus 1, and then I will expand this again, negative 3 times 3, that will give me negative 3t, negative 3 times negative 6, that will give me negative, oh, no, negative, sorry, ne no, plus, sorry, plus 18, okay? So once I'm done with that, I can see, uh, further, fact, uh, sorry, further simplify this. So what's going to happen now? What's going to happen now? My first bracket, 2t, 3t can add together, that will give me 5t, right? 1 minus 18, that will give me negative 17, correct? 2t minus 3t, that will give me negative t. 1 and 18, that will give me plus 19. And then anything else I can do with this bracket? No, which means I'm done, all right? So this, okay, it's the final answers for all these three problems over here, okay? So if you're able to do it, if you're able to solve it without my guide, good job, right? If you're not, if you can't, don't worry, step by step, you can do it now, all right?